Hello my beautiful friends, it's Amanda here and today we're talking about this Soul Main 2 palette from Odin's Eye Cosmetics. I already did a full swatch and review on this collection, which I absolutely love. And because that video was already so chock full of information, and also because this palette has so much to offer, I wanted to do a separate video featuring a couple of looks from this palette. If you haven't already seen my full review for the Soul Main 2 collection, I'll link that down in the description box. I definitely recommend checking that out. But today we're just going to focus on a couple of looks for this palette. Of course, I'll show you the look that I'm wearing today, and I'll also show you a tutorial for the look I was wearing in my review video. That was an all purple look. This palette is definitely laid out in three more monochromatic rows. So there's a blue row, a purple row, and then this more golden row. So for the look in my review video, I'm wearing all five shades from this purple row. This is definitely a really easy way to approach this color story if you're feeling overwhelmed by all these different shades. You can just grab five shades from a row and use those for a monochromatic look. I also wanted to show you a more mixed and matched colorful look where I mixed some of these more golden colors with some of the blues. That way you can get a variety of ways to use this palette. I'll also show you a couple of the cheek products in action. I'll show you one of the eyeliners. That way you can get more of a feel for all of these products aside from what I already showed you in the review video. There's so many fun colors and textures to play with in this collection. I could probably do a million more looks, but I'm gonna try to keep it short and sweet here. Just a little reminder before we get into my eyeshadow looks. I do my makeup the way I like to wear it. I'm not doing a whole bunch of techniques, a bunch of eyeliner and lashes, and I like those types of looks and I love seeing them. I think there are a lot of those on YouTube and if that's what you're into, there's somebody who is much better suited to show you looks like that than myself. I love mixing colors, I love wearing colorful eyeshadows, I love wearing different textures, but I do my tutorials the way I like to wear my makeup, which tends to be a little bit more low-key as far as beauty YouTube goes. I'm glad that there's so many different kinds of ways to do your makeup available in tutorial form. So you can definitely take these more simplified looks, I guess, and add on your liner, your lashes, your stamps, your whatever it is that you want to, you know, amp it up a little bit. You can kind of use this as the base maybe if you are looking for something a little bit more in depth. But that's just not my personal style, so that's not what you're going to be seeing here today. I kind of have to say that sometimes just to head off the comments because sometimes people can be a little bit rude about how I like to put my makeup on my own personal face. So I'm just saying, this is what I like, you do what you like, and we can all coexist with many, many different looks from this palette or whatever other palette you're interested in. Okay, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into these two different tutorials and then I'll wrap up all my thoughts at the end. For look number one, we're going to do the monochromatic eye look from my review video and you're also going to see the cheek colors in action. So I'm going to be layering two of the blushes. First, this pink one called Sunset Clouds. I really love to layer and mix my cheek colors. So I knew I wanted to play with a couple different colors here to sort of mix and match my perfect cheek color and also to see how these layered and blended together. So now I'm going to add a little bit of the deeper orange blush called Orange Sunny on top. And this combination ended up giving me like perfectly terracotta nudie cheeks. Then I'm adding a little bit of the warm sunshine highlighter. Now this highlighter is super duochrome shiny and this is the softest of all of the highlighters but I just put a really light layer on top to give me a sort of casually sweaty cheek look that I really love and I think that it turned out really soft and beautiful. It's definitely the type of look I like to wear all the time and I have been wearing quite a bit lately now. 
We're gonna move into the eyeshadow palette now. First, I'm just using a little bit of my ColourPop Party Proof Primer all over the lids. Then I'm going to take this light lavender matte shade called Dream, and I'm really going to start building that up in my crease area. I'm not being shy with this color because we're going to be layering a lot of purples, and I don't want to lose this beautiful periwinkle lavender shade in the mix. Next, I'm taking the deep matte purple shade called Galaxy. This is a little bit warmer in undertone, and I'm packing that on the outer corner of the eye and then eventually on the inner corner too. Dark purple mattes like this can sometimes be a little patchy and difficult to work with and I was really impressed with the opacity of this galaxy shade. Then I just went back in with my original matte crease shade to sort of softly blend those two shades together and it worked so so well. I also put some of that on my lower lash line. Sometimes that step, that blending step with the mattes can really wipe away one of the colors and these all just worked so well together. I didn't have any issues with the shimmers disrupting the mattes or the mattes blending each other away. I just had a very, very quick and easy time creating this little monochromatic look. A little bit of that starry sky shade on the inner corner and then some curled mascara lashes to complete the look. I absolutely love how this turned out. It's so dreamy and it definitely captures the vibe of this whole collection. Plus, I love purple, so of course I love this eye look. It was super simple, super fun to do, and it wore really well all day long. Now we're gonna go into look number two. This one has some contrasting colors and you'll also get to see one of the eyeliners demonstrated in this video. So that way we're hitting on all of the different products from this collection. Of course, I started out just by priming my eyes, just like I always do. And I'm gonna go in with some of these golden colors. I'm mixing warm light and solar. So the yellow and the orange just mix together on my brush. I want a nice, bright, sunshiny transition color in my crease there. And I'm just packing that on. I'm not being too specific about where I put it. Next, I use the shade Mercury from the blue row. I really like the way the more turquoise blue shades play together with these golden orangey tones. So I put some of that mercury shade on the inner half of my lid and then I used the matte right next to it called Neptune and I packed that on the outer part of my lid. These mattes just work so well together and I love the really bright pop of blue all over the lid. I went back to my original warm sunny matte shade combo and added that around to the lower lash line as well and sort of made sure that that connected back up to the original transition color so it's sort of like a warm glow all around the eye look. I created a little smudgy liner look with the matte black and then I added the cream gel liner in the shade mint just to my lower waterline curled my lashes and added my Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara and that completes the look. I love the way that this turned out. That mint eyeliner in the lower waterline just completely takes it the extra mile for me and this isn't something super complex. It's a pretty straightforward look and it was really easy to achieve. It was easy for me to dream up, but it looks so fun. It looks so much more complex and involved than it is. And again, I wore this for several hours. It looked great. Even that waterline eyeliner stayed in place. Love it. So impressed, so happy. I can't get over how great this collection is. I really, really love both of these looks. I think this palette is so amazing, so much fun. It's probably no surprise that the purple look is definitely my favorite. Purple is my favorite eyeshadow color to wear, so 
it's pretty obvious that that's what I'm going to be the most drawn to. But I really love this more contrasting combo as well. I just think all of the shades in this palette play so well together. The way that the mattes and shimmers are set up, you could definitely do some pretty simple two shadow looks as well. Just take one matte and then the shimmer next to it. Like this yellow and the gold, this orange and this bronze, purple and one of these shimmers. You can do so many different looks from really, really colorful, bold, intricate, simple. I just think this palette has so much to offer. The formula is stunning. The colors are fun. Odin's Eye is just killing it right now. Quick reminder that I do have an affiliate code for Odin's Eye. So if you decide to pick up this palette or anything else from the collection, you can use my code AMANDA at checkout and that will save you 10% on most things on their site. Now's the time when I wanna hear what you think about this palette. Which one of my looks was your favorite? Are you ordering anything from this collection? Have you seen my review video yet? I always love to hear what you think about things too, so make sure you leave all your thoughts down in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! <laughs> Alright, I'm good. I've got this. I... Mm. What's happening? Okay. Nailing it. Long story short, don't be a d Remember when I said that in a video and then I said that I had to bleep it out because my mom and my grandma watch my videos? My mom texted me about that when I uploaded it. I wasn't in trouble or anything. She was laughing about it. I love these cheek products. I guarantee you somebody will say like, oh, you wore the most basic. Yeah, so what? That's what I like. So what? I mean, what's the problem with that? They made it, so shouldn't I wear the one that I like? I mean, I think so. I think you should wear the one you like, so why shouldn't I wear the one I like? You know what I'm saying? This is why I don't do tutorials anymore. Everyone's a critic. Anyway, this lip gloss makes my lips look so cute and juicy. It's the Maybelline Lifter Gloss. These are still so good. I should do a video about products that are still worth the hype. Because I have some. I have thoughts. Shocking, I know. <laughs> the casually sweaty factor is... Stunning. And, 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 whoa, I just spaced out in the middle of a sentence. <laughs> Might need more coffee. This eyeliner looks so cute with this eye look. I love it. Oh, dang it. My sister just tried to call me. Okay. I gotta wrap this up because I gotta talk to my sister. I'm wearing some more of my celestial earrings. You can find them in my Etsy shop just for fun style on Etsy. Head over there and I will make celestial earrings for you too. Then we can match. All right, I gotta go call my sister back and obviously caffeinate myself more because I feel like I'm working at about half capacity today. So wish me luck. I will talk to you soon. I love your face. Thank you for watching. You're so cool and cute and awesome and I really appreciate you. Okay, I'll see you soon. Bye.